Is it possible to have 400 megapixels on a Canon R5? Canon claims it is, with the latest firmware version 1.81. To achieve this, they use the in-body image stabilization, IBIS. This feature captures multiple images by moving the sensor and then combining them in camera. I'm gonna look past the downfalls of this new feature, such as producing only a JPEG file, which limits the dynamic range and its post-processing abilities. I just wanna see how the image looks and if it's any good. And if you're impatient and you wanna know if this feature is worth it, I'll tell you now, it's not. If you wanna know why, continue watching. To use this feature, you need to use the electronic shutter. There is no mechanical shutter option. So I opted to use continuous lights instead of strobes to capture a still life image. I created a set of some things that I had laying around the studio to see how well this feature works in a smaller, with a smaller setup, kind of a macro. I have the Canon RF 100 millimeter macro lens on the camera. My shutter speed is set at 1 10th. I'm at F16 and ISO 100. I have the self timer on to reduce the possibility of camera shake. To activate the feature, hit the menu button Scroll over to five, and then select IBIS high resolution shot. And we wanna turn that on. There are no other features. It's pretty basic. You just select it, turn it on. All right, let's select our focus point. We'll select right there on the camera lenses. I have the self timer on to eliminate any shake. As you can see, it captures, and then it processes them together in camera. Now let's bring it over to the computer and check it out. I will also capture one with it off as a comparison. Here are the images of the iPhone set that I captured. The image on the left is 400 megapixels, and the image on the right is the 45 megapixel raw image. Zoomed out, it's hard to tell. There's a little color changes that you can see. Uh, the JPEG is a little snappier. Now let's zoom in. We'll zoom in right here on the camera. And you can see the massive size difference. The lens is much, much larger. And when you look around, yes, they're very dusty. I did not dust beforehand. My mistake. Look at that hair. So for the most part, it doesn't look too bad for this set shot. We zoom around. There's not a lot of, it's this cross hatching that you see sometimes. It looks actually pretty good. Let's zoom back out. Let's look at the texture. I know this isn't in focus because you can't do focus stacking in this mode, which would be really nice to add that. But for the most part, it actually held up pretty well. I mean, there's, there's some differences, but I don't see a lot of the crazy cross hatching or pixelization that you see along the edges. Here you can see it just a little bit here. But for the most part, it's not so bad. Uh, and this is a closer in shot. I know, cause I've already tested it, the further out shots, don't hold up very well. Okay, I'm now using a 100 to 400 millimeter. I'm zoomed in all the way to 400 on some cranes out in the port. I'm still at F16. Uh, I know for sharpness, I could be more down 11, but I'm gonna leave it at 16 because that's what all the other shots were captured with. And then let's enable it. Here we go. It is capturing everything, stitching it together. All right, let's take a look. So this is the crane shot that I took out the window. You know, when you look at them zoomed out, it's very hard to tell the difference. And now let's zoom in. As you can see, the raw file is on the left here and the IBIS shot 400 megapixel is on the um, right. 
and you can clearly see the cross hatching here. I mean, it's all over the shot, everywhere in here, along the edging. Yeah, look at it all in this ladder. I mean, basically every edge has this cross pattern here. Let's zoom in. Let's go to 200%, just in case it doesn't show that well on, on YouTube. But look at that, that pattern. I mean, it's everywhere. This is the rust on top of the crane here. And it's definitely softer. Uh, I mean, I'm zoomed 200% in here on the raw file. And it's crisper, but I don't see this as being very usable with that pattern. I'm going to go back to the raw file. Let's get out of compare. Now we have the raw file. Now let's open this in Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, we're just going to go to image size. We're just going to pick automatic. We're going to hit OK. OK, we're back in Lightroom. And now let's compare. On the left side here, we have the IBIS captured photo, 400 megapixels. And then on the right side, we have the 45 megapixel image that was uh, upscaled in Photoshop to be the exact same size. And it is way more usable. So if we look, this pattern is all over. Let's go here to 200%. You can just see this like dotted, almost like a printmaker's pattern. It's like this cross hatching. You can see it here versus here. Let's zoom back out. We'll go back over here. Yeah, on the rust here, you just see it all over the edges. As I was taking the picture of the crane shot, someone was walking by, so I thought I would see what happens if there's movement. And you can see the person walking. It just, there's this whole dotted pattern, but these trees were moving a little bit with the wind, not too much especially considering how fast Canon captures, but you can see it has more of a pattern because the leaves were moving around. After doing several tests on close images and further away, I've concluded that Canon's IBIS feature is not ready for the real world. I don't see a case in which it would be useful, I feel like it's a beta version. It has too many flaws, so I wouldn't recommend it to anyone that's looking to increase their file size out of this camera. Instead, just use a, a raw image, the 45 megapixel raw image that you get out of camera, and I would do your processing on it in whichever raw processor you like to use, and then bring it into something like Photoshop and enlarge it there. I think you'll get a a much better image and you'll have all the capabilities of the dynamic range that you can get from the raw image. If you've had any luck with Canon's IBIS feature, leave a comment below. Let me know uh, with the success that you've had with it. I'd love to hear it.